Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be doing something a little bit different. I thought I would try another reading vlog but only for the weekend. I've seen some booktubers that do just a weekend reading vlog instead of a whole week's worth and since I'm hopefully going to read a lot this weekend and I know I'm not going to get as much time during the week because school has started back now so uh, it turns out working from home even as a librarian is very busy so I'm hoping to get a lot read this weekend and thought you might want to know what I'm reading. So the first thing I want to do is give you an update on kind of where I'm at and what I'm reading. And first you need to know that I'm still reading the giant epic, The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson. So I am, let's see, I'm 444 pages into this thing. So I'm still not quite halfway. And I know you guys have told me that, you know, make it halfway and it'll get better. Somebody said, I read online that like 700 pages, it gets better. It's still not interesting me at all. And it's slow. I mean, I'm still, I'm intrigued enough by like the world and where I think it could go that I'm going to keep reading it. But like, I just don't care about most of this. I feel like there's no conflict and there's no stakes right now. Like, I don't even know what I'm reading for at this point, but I feel like it must be going somewhere. So I just don't think a lot of the chapters, like nothing's happening. I don't know. I keep comparing it to Game of Thrones, but at least in Game of Thrones, like I said, every page has something going on and every chapter is important, I feel like. So I don't know, but I'm gonna keep going. It's technically due tomorrow back to the library, so I'm gonna renew it. I didn't buy the whole series yet because I'm not sure how committed I am to reading it. I'm definitely going to give this one a little bit more of a chance and if I like it then I'll go ahead and buy the books because I think my library doesn't even have the second and third books for some reason so we'll have to see but I'm going to keep reading this and this is what I'm going to read on here in just a minute as soon as we get done talking. The next thing I want to tell you about is I finished a book yesterday or day before yesterday and started another one so the book I finished day before yesterday was Truly Devious. It'll be probably over here on the screen um, by Maureen Johnson and it is a young adult mystery novel. I've told you guys about it in my last vlog but basically it's about a girl who goes off to a boarding school where there was a mystery. Um, there was a kidnapping that happened there um, in the 1930s. The guy that ran the school was sort of this really eccentric rich person who started the school and he uh, his wife and daughter were kidnapped and killed and he's not actually sure, he, they never found his daughter, so I, I'm guessing that's in the sequels because there are sequels to this, so it kind of left on a cliffhanger. But um, anyway, she's there to kind of solve that mystery because she's a, very much like a detective, young detective, and she's there to solve that mystery, but she's also there, What when she's there, another death happens at the school with a student, and so she winds up having to kind of solve that mystery as well. So she's really... There's like the past mystery and the current mystery and the current mystery is wrapped up in this book and then the one that happens in the 1930s is continued from book to book. But I was not intrigued enough to continue on so I'm not gonna lie I read a plot summary of books two and three <laughs> so now I kind of know what happened and where it was going and it sounds to me just my opinion just to kind of wrap this up is the author could have combined all three of the books into one. I think it would have made one really good story but I think it was she has dragged it out just a little bit too much for me so I just didn't really care um about what would the, at the, at the plot I liked the characters actually I liked the main character a lot she was really interesting so I would read it if you want to read it for the characters and I loved the setting the atmosphere this like boarding school for like these elite kids that all have some kind of um unique ability not like superpowers or anything but just like an actual they're just really good at something and I really liked all that the school was really cool the people were cool but the plot just didn't do it for me didn't I mean it was it's a mystery and that should be the most intriguing part and I just didn't care about the mystery itself the past mystery really or the present mystery I didn't feel like there was enough information about the past mystery for me to care like we weren't really introduced to really very many suspects or given very very many facts about the case from the 1930s so I'm like well okay I don't I can't remotely solve it or know enough about it so I know there will be more introduced in each book but it just wasn't enough for me in this book and it was sad because I know people really really liked this book um, in my wrap-up I'm probably gonna wind up giving it three out of five stars because it was fine I just it wasn't really like the best book ever it was just fine it was just mediocre like right in the middle like a C rating kind of thing so I'm gonna give it a three and finally, the last book I want to tell you about is the book I just started yesterday, and I'm already 87 pages into it. So this book is called The Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. And as I mentioned in my last video, there were a couple Lainey Taylor books that I was interested in. This one and Strange the Dreamer. And so I decided to start with this one mostly because it was shorter, and a lot of people seem to like it 
better than Strange the Dreamer, which apparently is really strange. So Daughter of Smoke and Bone, so far I'm 87 pages in, um, about 30% done or 20 some, I can't remember. But um, I really am enjoying it. Now I've been saying that about all these books I've started recently. Every single one of them I've said, oh, I'm so intrigued, you know, truly devious. Oh, I'm so intrigued, the plot sounds so good. And this one did too, the inside, you know, the little flap here sounded awesome. But I was like, oh gosh, it's gonna be another one that lets me down. I don't think so. This time, I love the, the writing style. I love the characters. I love the plot. So I love the atmosphere. I don't think that this one can go awry, but who knows? I, it's tough to say. And I read you this in my other video that um, where I previewed what I was gonna be reading, but it's just so good that I can't do a better job of summarizing this because this is like perfect. So. It says, around the world, black handprints are appearing on doorways, scorched there by winged strangers who crept through a slit in the sky. In a dark and dusty shop, a devil's supply of human teeth grows dangerously low. And in the tangled lanes of Prague, a young art student is about to be caught up in a brutal otherworldly war. And that's exactly what's pretty much happened so far like that. I mean, we've met all these creepy people. This is already happening. Like it's really fast paced. Everything I read you, you find out in those first 87 pages. Um, so the main character's name is Karu. It says, meet Karu. She fills her sketches, sketchbooks with monsters that may or name, may not be real. She speaks many languages, not all of them human, and her bright blue hair actually grows out of her head that color. Who is she? That is the question that haunts her and she's about to find out. And it says it's a modern fantasy that is uh, about forbidden love, an ancient and epic battle, and hope for a world remade. Well, and interestingly enough, our library does have this categorized as horror, which I think is really strange. It definitely seems like a fantasy to me. So anyway, so far, wonderful. I'll give you some updates later on, uh, especially when I read more of it. I would like to read some of this tonight, but I think just to power through since this book is due tomorrow, I'm going to keep going with this one. Should I really do that though, when this is the one I actually want to read because I'm really enjoying it? But I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna give this one another chance. It's been days since I've read a page of this. I haven't even opened it. So I've got to get halfway before tomorrow. I mean, I've had this book for like three weeks and I'm not even halfway in, so it's really sad. But anyway, just wanted to give you an update. Um, and then my husband and I are gonna have some pizza tonight and I'm super excited. We get this pizza from, um, it's called Lou Malnati's, which some of you guys may have heard of. I know it's, there's, I mean, it's based in Chicago, but I'm sure there's other ones, other places and we love it and we got it shipped frozen to our house and so we got like five pizzas and we are gonna have one of those tonight so it's gonna be an easy friday night of just throwing the pizza in the oven and hopefully since i get to sleep a little bit later for school than i typically would since i'm working from home hopefully i'm not too sleepy and i can stay up a little bit later my eyes start closing like i just can't stay i can't read anymore i'm like oh my gosh i can't keep my eyes open so hopefully that doesn't happen so i need to read now while I can keep my eyes open, basically. So anyway, I will update you later, bye. Okay guys, so I am in a bookstore in Frankfort, Kentucky, and upstairs, so you go up these little stairs, and there's literally a door, and it's this poor Richard's bookstore, and this is the attic, and oh my gosh, look at this. Look at the old books. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. They're like everywhere. The floor creaks. It's awesome. We literally had to turn on a light switch when we got up here. Look at this. You can sit down in one of these chairs, which, hey, you know, these are six feet apart. <laughs> oh my gosh. When they said old books, I thought they meant used books, but they definitely meant old books. Here's poetry. Oh, here's paperback classics. Let's go over here. Let's see. Oh, wow. Yep, they literally mean classics. I see Lord Jim. Huh. A lot of books I have never heard of. Oh, my goodness. There's Zach back there. <laughs> Ooh, there's a table. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that old giant ladder. That looks not safe at all. I would definitely not climb on that. <laughs> oh, wow. I guess that's why they have the pretty ladder and then next to it they have the functional ladder <laughs> but yeah oh my goodness so I just did not expect this to be up here and also I bought some literary tea and I will show you that here in just a minute so I'm just gonna go pace around and smell oh the smell in here man oh my goodness it smells so good so 
I'm just gonna see if there's anything up here and then I'm gonna head back downstairs. All right, I'll update you about my tea here in a little bit. Hey guys, so I made it back from Frankfurt and I didn't get to really vlog much today or read much today. I did listen to some of an audiobook, so I'll tell you about that later, but I just wanted to show you what I did get today. So let me bring you over here and flip you around. Okay, so I got three teas. Oh, by the way, my mom made this. Isn't this so pretty? She made this and she made these little things on the side. How pretty is that, right? She even made, she also made this. I just love all my fall decorations. Oh, she's so crafty. Anyway, I got some tea today that was literary tea. So the literary tea collection, Simpson and Vale, I have no idea if this is like a local, no, it's not local. It's from Connecticut, okay. But it looked awesome. So this is the Bronte Sisters black tea blend. Um, and you can see the ingredients there, papaya and raspberry. I just thought that sounded really unique and interesting. Then I got this one just because of the theme because it was Edgar Allan Poe, which is awesome. And I don't even know what this is. Never heard of it. Never heard of that. I have no idea how this is gonna taste, but it's intriguing. And the last one I got was the Henry David Thoreau Herbal Blend, whatever, I don't know that word either. Um, so apple, cinnamon, spearmint, ginger, chicory, um, clove, or clover, I don't know. I'm, th this is really interesting. I've never thought of these flavors together, but since the main ingredients were apple and cinnamon and the main ingredients in this one were papaya and, well, it's pretty, and raspberry and stuff, I'm, yeah, like I said, I'm not sure about this one, but I think that they might be pretty intriguing. They're just like little sample packets that were, I think they were like $3 each. And I got them at that bookstore in Frankfurt that I showed you guys. And they have like whole containers of all these and they had a lot of different flavors, but I thought that these sounded the best. And I'll show you what I got at the library too. So I did renew this book um, and I'm halfway. So I've got three more weeks and I'll finish this thing. Then I watched a video this morning. <laughs> I watched a video, oh, I can't remember the channel name. I'll have to go back and look. I just subscribed to her, but she did a video on um, like fall reads and atmospheric reads and things. And she highly recommended this as a middle school kind of fall atmospheric book. Um, and I know a lot of people really love it. And I know it's also a Newbery Award winner. So I thought I definitely have to try it. So I grabbed this at the library as well. It was in the children's section. Um, it's not super long and I feel like it'll be really fast to read since it's a, you know, children's book. So anyway, we're gonna try The Girl Who Drank the Moon because I hear a lot about it. I'll let you know more about it later. Um, and then Caraval, she said this was a really good atmospheric fall read for um, young adults. And it doesn't really tell much about it, but I know it's sort of like a weird carnival thing. And anyway, I think it's a series. I think I actually have this in my, my library at school, so it's ironic because why would I check it out from this library when I have it in my own library? I don't know. But anyway, that's that's for these books are for when I'm tired of reading an epic fantasy. And I'm also still reading um what's it called? Oh my gosh, I forgot. Daughter of Smoke and Bone, that's my audiobook I'm listening to, and I'm pretty far into that, and it's still really, really good. But when I'm tired of actually physically reading this one, these two are short and small and um, hopefully fun to read. So anyway, very excited about my tea, and I just wanted to show you guys all my results from the day. And by the way, there was nothing wrong with our car, so we kind of went to Frankfurt for nothing, but you know, it's all right. Anyway, I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, so I wanted to give you a quick update. I've not done too good of a job with this reading vlog this week, I feel like, but I have been very, very busy this weekend. And yesterday I did get to read some, so I'm gonna tell you about that and I'm gonna tell you about my plans for today. So it is it is Sunday now. <laughs> I know I didn't really update you much on the actual reading yesterday. I just showed you the bookstore and all that, but I am almost halfway through Daughter of Smoke and Bone. I'm on page like 196 or something out of 418. So I'm really close to halfway done with this. And it is so good. I still love it. So it's crazy. Yes, there's angels, there's monsters, there's, it's set in Prague. She's good at art. She has a necklace that can grant her wishes, kind of. <laughs> I mean, it's really cool. So I love this book so far. There's like other worlds. There's a door that she finds that she has to try to figure out what's behind it. It's, it's craziness. So anyway, I highly recommend this book and I'm going to try um, I'm also reading the, listening to the audiobook of it as well. And I love the audiobook. The narrator does a great job. She has really cool voices for the different characters, like the angels and stuff. So um, I'm going to try to read the sequels as well. So I'm pretty excited about that. 
and I'm hopefully going to read some on Way of Kings today as well. But I have to do a lot of schoolwork, and I'm going to help my husband with some of his classwork. He's taking some classes, so I'm going to help him with that. We have to go to the store. There's a lot of stuff we need to do. Sorry, I'm like, I get out of breath. This baby, man, makes me get out of breath really easily. Anyway, I'm also going to make some of that tea today, and I'm going to show you guys. I think I'm going to do the Edgar Allan Poe tea because it's the only one that I can't imagine what it's going to taste like because the flavors were really strange, I remember. So I'm going to show you guys what that looks like when I get done. Anyway, um, I'm going to keep on this today as well when I get time, and I'm going to read some of Way of Kings. I got all kinds of books yesterday. I showed you two of them. I also got another book from the library, my school library. So I've got like three more books. It's too many books. I'll talk about them later. I don't know if I'll start any of them today. We'll see. Maybe I should just power through the two that I'm on. Two is probably enough, right? Maybe. All right. <laughs> talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, I just wanted to give you a quick update on the book I just actually finished reading. So even though I've been working all day on school stuff, I did manage to finish a book just now. I went out onto the porch for a break and I read The Sleeper and the Spindle by Neil Gaiman, which I've not even talked about planning on reading and I definitely didn't plan on it. Um, so yesterday when I went to my school library, I went ahead and grabbed this because I've heard some of the other YouTubers talk about it. And I thought, you know, I'll give it a chance. It's really short. Turns out you can read it in no time because there are a lot of pictures. I'll show you if I can get it open. Um, tons of pictures. I mean, like whole pages, sometimes two pages, like that kind of thing. And not very many words on each page, really. So it took like no time to read. It's like 66 pages long, I believe. So anyway, this was a sort of a retelling of both. Well, it was really a retelling of Sleeping Beauty, but Snow White is kind of like the main character in it because she sort of has to go and like save Sleeping Beauty, but the ending is totally not what you expect. So that's why I recommend it because the first half I was like, well, I see where this is going. It's just a really strange version of Snow White and Sleeping Beauty. What the heck? But then the second half, I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know what's happening. So my husband who loves Disney, I told him he's got to read this later. So we're going to get his response to it <laughs> tonight as well. And we're going to see what he thinks. So anyway, I do recommend it. I thought it was really intriguing. Even if you aren't a huge like Disney fan or princess fan, it's really not what you expect. It's definitely more like, it's not really for little kids. Like I would say more middle school, high school, or even adults um, who could read this. So it was really cute and it was really short and it was a nice break. It kind of got me in the mood to read more short stories. So I'm thinking that now that it's fall season, I might try reading some more H.P. Lovecraft stories. I love H.P. Lovecraft and I'm always in the mood to read him around Thanksgiving, or not Thanksgiving, gosh, Halloween time. So I might start reading some more of him um, because yeah, reading these little short things has been fun. Maybe because I'm like into Way of Kings and you know, it's so epic and I'm still only halfway through that maybe reading something short is kind of nice because I literally finished a whole book while I was taking a break. So anyway, um, I'm not going to make any tea. I'll have to show you tea in the next vlog because I actually already had a little bit of caffeine earlier and my heart's been kind of pounding and with the baby, I can't have too much caffeine and all that. So anyway, I will make the tea some other day, but I will update you later tonight. We will see how my husband likes this, if he will read it after a while, and then I'm going to read some more, hopefully, Way of Kings, and I'll let you know how that goes. Maybe I'll start one of those other two books, Caraval or The Girl Who Drank the Moon. I might try Caraval. We'll see. Anyway, so I will talk to you all later. Bye. Hi guys, so welcome back to the last clip of this vlog. I just want to kind of wrap up everything I read over the weekend. So it's the next day, but I thought I'd go ahead and just kind of wrap up the weekend for you. So I didn't get to read as much as I hoped that I would, but I did get to go to that fun bookstore, so that was cool. Bad news about the tea though, I can't drink the tea because pretty much all of them have either some weird herb or some very strange tea that like may or may not be safe for pregnant women. So I can't drink those. <laughs> Maybe about a year from now, I'll be able to drink those. So anyway, I'm going to save them. Um, I'm sad about my literary tea. Oh, well, maybe I'll just go make some regular tea later. Anyway, okay, so let's talk about what I read. Well, we need to also talk about what I didn't read, but let's do what I read first. I did read um, about half of A Daughter of Smoke and Bone. I've not read this um, in a little bit now, so I need to get back to it, but I was doing pretty good there for the first few days. So I still am really enjoying it. I've already told you a lot about it. Um, I'm still intrigued. It is slowing down a little bit because time has passed at this point in the book. Like something huge happened. Like I said, it was breakneck pace. Crazy things were happening. But now it has slowed down a little bit because like some, an event happened and then some time passed. And now they're just, I, I know it's going to build up to more, but they're just kind of like talking about regular things again. And I don't, I don't know, I kind of missed all the craziness that had happened there before. So 
anyway, I'm definitely going to keep going with this and I'm going to finish this one this week. So I will at least have finished this book for September. I also read The Sleeper and the Spindle by Neil Gaiman. Um, it did not take long at all. It is super short. It's like 66 pages. So, and like I said, it's illustrated. It's got really beautiful illustrations. Um, they take up sometimes like the whole page. So it's really fast to read. This was a really unique retelling of Snow White and sort of um, Sleeping Beauty as well. And Sleeping Beauty used to be my favorite Disney movie ever. So I was definitely really intrigued by this one. Um, I would highly recommend it. I didn't get my husband to read it yet. He was too busy with his schoolwork and stuff um, yesterday. So he didn't get to read it, but he will read it this week. And I will give you an update on that later for sure. Probably in my wrap up video at the end. But I do highly recommend it because it's fun and short and really not what you expect. Okay, what I didn't read this week... Way of Kings. <laughs> I mean, I kind of read it. I read some. I'm like halfway. I'm halfway through this thing. Now, I'm going to need you guys to leave a comment down below. I'm thinking about stopping. I need you to convince me not to or tell me it's okay to do it. Because everything I, every time I think about pausing on this book, I get really excited. And I think, oh good, I don't have to read it right now. Or yay, the thought of putting it down actually makes me, it feels like a relief would be lifted from my shoulders if I was able to put this book down and never had to think about it again. So that's not a good sign. I also skim through it when I read it. I, um... I'm at the point where I don't want to pick it up. And when I do, it feels like a chore. It's basically all of the things I talked about in another video that were literally items on a list that said, if you are doing any of these things or feel these things towards the book, then it's probably time to DNF it, put it down. So I'm considering DNFing this because I've given it enough of a chance. I've never given a book this much of a chance. The only other book I did this on was um, the Vampire Lestat, which I love the Vampire Chronicles, but the very first time I read it, I was in high school. So, you know, my attention span was not very good, but I gave that book like 250 pages before I started loving it. And that's the most I've ever given a book um, to decide if I like it or not. But 500 pages seems a little excessive to then start getting good. So I am pretty much 80% sure I'm going to put this down. So let me know what you guys think. All right. The last thing I want to talk about is I did get some more books from school. I got, um, not from school, I got them from the public library. I got The Girl Who Drank the Moon, which is like a middle grade um, story, kind of fantasy thing. And I definitely want to try it because it sounds very atmospheric for fall. So I'm thinking about trying that. And also this one, Carval. I've not started it. I've got my, you know, super appropriate cupcake bookmark <laughs> that is supposed to smell good, but doesn't. Um, yeah, it goes really well with this, but this is supposed to be really atmospheric as well. Um, something about a carnival on an island. I don't know. That's all I know. And I know it's a trilogy. I know we have two of them in the library. I might have to order the third one, but anyway. Oh yeah, this is from the school library, isn't it? I can't even remember. No, this is public library, but I think I have it in the school library. Anyway, <laughs> sorry, I'm just rambling now. So we're done with that. Um, but I am going to try to start some of these other ones this week, especially if I give up on Way of Kings. So that is just an overview of what I read over the weekend. And I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. It wasn't really very exciting. The most exciting part was definitely the tea that I couldn't drink and the really cool old bookstore. So anyway, um, I will see you guys again soon. Bye.